one for the Hey, this is Timmy G. Welcome to my video on Automix in DJ Pro AI. This video is a sequel to my video I made a couple years ago on DJ Pro 2's Automix AI. Uh, and I'm going to go over all the features that we have here and all the new upgrades that make this a much better product. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. So if you don't know what Automix is, it's basically a way to transition from track to track that involves no human being. The Automix in DJ Pro 2 has been getting better and better over the years, and I'm excited to go over some new features. My biggest complaint about Automix in DJ Pro 2 was that these regions right here, which tell you where the track starts and then where the track is going to mix out, uh, they were not editable. But now we have a start and end point of where we want the track to start and where we want the track to begin fading out. And that's really great. Before we get into that, I'm gonna show you guys how to get to the Automix window that I'm in right now. So if you go up to the top right screen right here, you can see all your options for DJ Pro AI. And I'm in the Automix setting, okay? And you can access Automix in more than just the Automix setting, but this is the best place to edit your tracks and um, you can really do the most with it. We're gonna eventually go to two deck mode or just the regular pro mode. Um, and we'll be able to see the Automix happening in this mode. But I'm gonna get back to the Automix window right now. If we see right here, my track Frog Rhythm, this is the track that's currently being played. Um, and then this is the track that's up next, Make It Fat. And right here, if I see down at the bottom right, I see that this little button is red. If I turn it off, that hides the Automix window. We want that on. So this uh, allows us to drag tracks in here because we have the manual source selected. I can pick matching songs. If you're using a streaming service, um, you could see uh, tracks that they recommend. I believe this is my local library, so there's a bunch of tracks that I guess they think that I enjoy with this track. And then, or you could do the current playlist, which uh, can be helpful a lot of times. You can just throw on a playlist, start the auto mix, and then forget about it. Now. I just want to say before we get too deep into this tutorial, as good as auto mixing is, as of right now, it's definitely not as good as a real DJ. So just be sure to know that you're not going to be able to replace a human being DJ, although you can do some really cool stuff with this. Anyway, I'm going to go back to manual, okay? And then I'm just going to load some tracks. I just have uh, some of my recent tracks that I put out. To start the Automix, there's multiple ways to do it, uh, but you can just hit start Automix right here. And we can hear that my track Frog Rhythm is playing. And we can see that my next track Thumb War is up. If I hit this up next, I'll pause this for a second. If I hit up next, it'll skip this Thumb War to the next track in the queue. So if I hit skip right here, we'll see that load to a major problem. We can see right here, this mix now button, if I hit play, and then I hit mix now, the transition starts to begin between the two tracks. So now that transition is done, so I'll pause. Uh, and here we can pick a transition type, and this tells us all the different settings that we can have. I believe this, uh, these two buttons were right here in DJ Pro 2. Now they've moved, but the functions are the same. And we can see the transition types. Fade is the simplest one. Um, automatic basically just says DJ Pro AI is going to decide what's the best transition to do. Uh, fade is simple. EQ basically messes with the EQ knobs as you are uh, transitioning. When, we, when I go over the examples later in this video, I will do this in two-deck mode, and you'll be able to see the EQ knobs changing. We have a filter, which once again, in two deck mode, you'll be able to see the filter knobs fading. And then there's an echo, a break, and a reverse. So you can pick a manual duration. I have it set as eight bars right now. And that can be changed to seconds. This goes up to 32 seconds or 32 bars, I believe. And the old DJ Pro 2 is 32. Yep, 32 here. Uh, you can also do automatic, which you don't have any control. DJ Pro AI gives you the control there. And then for tempo adjust, you can do morph, sync, or have no tempo adjust at all. Sync makes the incoming track the same as the track that's playing, and morph will include a beat-matched tempo transition as part of the transition. 
if you want to see more settings, you can go to the preferences or hit this button right here. So this will bring you to the preferences. Another way to get there is to go to DJ Pro AI and preferences and then click on auto mix. And we see these same options here, all the uh, transition options. We see the duration and then we see the tempo adjust right here. And then we also see the song range. So this is not available right here. And this is the start point and end point of the song. You can either have it automatic or manual. And, and then this is only in seconds, I believe. So if you hit manual, you can pick, okay, I want this to start zero seconds in or 10 seconds in. I rarely use the start point, but sometimes I will do the end point. I'll have it like, I don't know, 10 seconds before the song ends, depending on the type of music. If I know my songs have longer fade outs, you might uh, wanna end beforehand. And this is a great way to just simply transition your tracks. Uh, it's almost like a Spotify or Apple Music's uh, crossfade. Uh, but you have a little bit more control here, okay? And then you can decide to use the start and end point of the song if it's available. You can choose a maximum duration, so 20 seconds all the way up to 10 minutes. I rarely use this, but um, you have the option. And then this allows you to shuffle your auto mix list. So if I had a bunch of songs here, shuffle would just pick them randomly. Um, so if you just kind of want a random uh, order, you can just have the shuffle on. I'm gonna turn this off though. I'm gonna turn this off. So now I'm just gonna show you a couple of things that I really like about the uh, upgraded version. And the most important thing is this start and end button. So I'm gonna load two of my tracks. I'm gonna load Frog Rhythm. And then I'm gonna have Make It Fat. I'll put this up here. I'm gonna put find Make It Fat up here. So if you notice, I don't see anything special about this Frog Rhythm track, but what I'm about to do is I'm going to put a start point and an end point here. So I'm gonna go right here. This is eight bars before the drop. So I hit start, and then this is the end of the drop. So I'm gonna play. So right here is where that drop ends. So I'm gonna hit end, okay? And then if I go to make it fat well make it fat I already have this stuff on there so I'm just gonna play from actually I'm gonna play from the end of this just to save some time but if this were fading in it would start here and then it will start ending it will start fading from this end point that I set so I'm gonna hit if I hit start auto mix this track will go away and then make it fat will come up so let's see if this works one thing I forgot to do is I forgot to change my settings back so I'm gonna go back to settings and I'm gonna make this transition, we'll just do a fade for now. We'll do the duration manual and I'll have it be eight bars. And I'll, I'll, I don't need to morph there at the same tempo. Anyway, I'm gonna try this again. So here we go. And we can see the pause this right now. We can see that this says the source contains no song, so the automix has stopped. But anyway, that was a very clean transition. Um, it was definitely something that a real DJ might do in person. So, um, and that part of that is just because of where I put the uh, starting point of Make It Fat and there's not a whole lot going on. So it did transition nicely, but um, that was fully controlled. I didn't have to just guess where it was gonna be. In past, it would just start here where this underline is. And if you see in this track, that's where the drop is. So you wouldn't typically want to transition while the drop's already playing. Um, so it's really nice to have that uh, start and stop point. In the future, I'm just going to make a video that has a bunch of examples of this Automix AI uh, doing its thing. And I'm very excited to see how that goes because I think some of the stuff, some of the transitions, I should say, will sound really good and some probably will sound a little weird. But anyway, 
that will be coming out in the future. What I want to do now is just go through a bunch of different transition examples and show you guys what Automix AI is capable of. So I'm going to load a bunch of my tracks and I'm going to make sure I load the ones that won't get me copyrighted. All right, so now I've loaded a bunch of tracks. So what I'm going to do now is actually go to two deck mode or the old, the formerly known as two deck mode, which is now, I guess, just pro mode. And these two buttons right here, so this little tiny left arrow and little left or right arrow, I should say, these actually start the Automix. They do the same thing as, wait for it, this button, this mix now button right here. So in two, or I keep saying two deck mode, in pro mode, I might never get used to that. Uh, we'll see what we can do. So I'm going to have this up and then we can go through the different um, Automix features. So first I'm going to do um, let's do automatic and just see what it does. And then I'm going to do automatic duration and I'll do morph as well. So I'll hit play here. And then I'm going to hit this button right here. All right. So now I'm going to just mess around with this stuff so we'll do we'll do eq we did we already did fade and then i'll do i'll do morph again i'm gonna make sure auto mix is on sorry now i will go back to the settings all right eq automatic morph let's see what it does All right, so I'm gonna do that one again, but and just watch the EQs of these tracks because the EQs on. You can see them moving right here. Go to filter now. And you can see right here these filters are moving. The automatic. Transitions seem to be quick, so I'll show you guys some longer ones too. Now let's do Echo. Echo is super quick. I uh, would definitely recommend using that one sparingly. And then let's do Break. I think this one's going to be quick too. So that kind of just like slows down the track until it stops. Pretty cool effect, but once again, I would use that sparingly. And then reverse. That was pretty cool. All right, now I'm gonna go back to, we'll do automatic, but I'm gonna go to a manual time. Let's do a short time. Let's do like two bars here. So that was manual time and automatic transition. It would seem like it was maybe combining a few different styles there, which is fine. Now I'll do a long one. So let's do like a 16 bar one. I notice I'm playing two tracks with different BPMs right now. And we can see that it's changing slightly. So that's actually pretty good, nothing too crazy there, but the long one actually worked uh, not too bad. Now let's do, um, let's do sync, and we'll see what happens. I'll wait till this drops. All 
Oh, that's another long one, sorry. So that's interesting. Notice Get Back is playing at 150 BPM and the track is normally at 128 BPM. So I would actually not really recommend using Sync unless you're using tracks with the same or similar BPMs. Oh, let's do a short one now. I'm going to go back to Morph just for the short one. Alright, that was interesting. And then I'm going to see what off means for tempo adjust. And I'll do this one. But now it's, it's only letting me do... Oh, let's see what bars does here. You can see that the tracks don't look beat matched. Oh, no, they do. Okay. I wonder if this was because the track uh, is still synced from the last one. I'm not entirely sure. I'm gonna change this to seconds and we'll try that again. I'll put a lower amount of seconds. Yeah, there's definitely no beat matching going on there. Alright, and now we're out of tracks. I'm gonna stop this. So that's DJ Pro AI's auto mix in a nutshell. I think it's a really cool feature, and you can do a whole lot with putting a little effort in. Um, there's probably a lot more you can do with this. Uh, I just kind of breeze through all the different types of transitions. Um, but if you see any of this stuff that you like and it helps you out, that's awesome. Once again, look out for the video where I do a full length auto mix set with some of my tracks to just kind of show the versatility of this feature. Also, if you liked any of this music, all of this stuff is my original music. You can find it on my YouTube channel or on any of the streaming services, Apple Music, Spotify, um, all that stuff. Anyway, that's about it. If you like this video or if it helped you out, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or video suggestions, be sure to leave a comment. If you want to see more content like this and my DJ videos, music production videos, and DJ performance videos, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Thanks a lot.